All right, yay, happy dance. Okay. All right, so we'll give it a second for everyone to hop on. That was way more difficult than it needed to be, for sure. Um, <laughs> okay, we're just gonna give it a second for people to get notified that we are live. Okay, all right. So, we're gonna second for everyone to hop on. Oh, way more difficult than it needs to be. Jan, you'll have to you'll have to mute your computer. Okay. So that we don't get that extra me talking. Hello, okay. Kylie. Hello, Lisa. I'm just waiting for um, just a second for you guys to hop on. So I'm trying to get everything all set up and it's really hot in my office. And uh, you know, I'm super comfy cozy in my closet where I normally go live and uh, not so much in my office because this is not my normal live place. So I don't know how to go live on my computer as well as my phone. So by the time I finally find the buttons, then I have my window open just a tiny bit. And then one of the outdoor cats decided to try to come into the window. So it's been great. All right. I think we are good to go. Hello, Ray. Okay. So you guys, this is going to be super awesome as always. But um, we have a guest that we're going to do a live healing session on. Um, and before we get started with her, I'm just going to make sure that I have all my ducks in a row, which I don't, of course, because, you know, I got things, I got kids, I got dogs and all sorts of stuff that, you know, take away my time all day. But anyways. All right. So first of all, I really have to share a couple things with you because um, this has been so so, so such a great week as I've worked with other people. And, um, you know, there was a couple of things that I did and I'm going to be honest that even I had to work on myself today because I felt super like I woke up and I felt okay. And I actually had some hot chocolate and, um, I got ready for the day and then I started trying to get some stuff done and I just was not being productive at all. And then I started actually feeling almost physically sick. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't really have the energy to do this today. And I contemplated canceling my live healing. And then I realized that every time I went to do something today, I was just not doing it. So finally, I thought to myself, self, be smarter than that. You need to do something. I needed to do a, a little um, healing session on myself. Hopefully my cat won't come in. Um, to figure out what was going on. I'm like, this is so silly that you can do this. So I decided, cause right. Working on yourself is the hardest. It's no different than when, um, you know, like we laugh because Dave does, um, siding. And so it's always harder to get things done on your own house than anybody else's. So I came in my office, I turned on some music. I took a couple deep breaths. I said a prayer and then I just went into the body code, which I'm going to show you how this works in a second. And I pulled up that I had an outside need. And I was like, okay, what kind of outside need do I have? And so as I went through it, it's because you can find anything in this. This is why the body code is so awesome. You can find if you have a misalignment with a tendon. You can find if you have a nutrition imbalance. Maybe you're taking a supplement and you don't know if it's the right one for you. Um, you can, uh, I feel like... Oh yeah, my camera's like chopping my head off. Ah, I'm so not, I so do not love this as much as my phone. There we go, that's a little better. Um, okay, that's better. Um, you can find out if you have, um, if you have essential oils that you need, you can pinpoint, uh, you can reset a sleep cycle. I mean, you name it, you can find it. Sometimes um, I find crazy things like someone got bit by a spider at some point and 
um, they may have a, a toxin in their body that because when it happened, their body was unbalanced, they weren't able to process it completely. So tons of stuff. So today I do this on myself and I pull up that I have an outside need and I'm like, I don't know, okay, what kind of outside need do I have? So it said that I needed to relieve some stress, which I would absolutely agree with and that I would benefit from some, some different things. And so I started testing myself to see if I would benefit from exercise, if I would benefit from um, whatever it was. So it said I would benefit from exercise. So I immediately stopped what I was doing. I went, put on my little app that I have on my phone and exercised. And immediately within, I mean, just seconds, um, <laughs> you like all my knickknacks back there? I have thousands, right? I collect things. Um, so thank you. Uh, I just started having a brain fog lift. I started thinking clearly and right away, like I knew what I needed to do. As soon as I was done exercising, I knew what I should go into my office and start working on. And I knew that one of my problems was I needed to make a list of things that I needed to get done because it was overwhelming me. And so it was awesome just to do this on myself. So before we get started with Jan, I just want to tell you, like, it's great to just work on things that are super small sometimes. Because this morning I kind of wanted to give up. I was like, oh, I don't really want to do this. I don't want to work on anybody. Um, I'm sort of having, you know, like a uh, day. And after working on myself, I just, I knew exactly where to start and I had a whole new motivation. So it's taking that burden. So I wanted to tell you about some of the fun little things that I've helped some people with. Um, or that I've I've had other people tell me that that they've had. Uh, so a lady was telling me about corn chips. Like she couldn't stop eating corn chips. Um, that's something that you can release is whatever imbalance that's making you crave corn chips. Headaches have been a big one that I've helped with. Hello, Lucy. Headaches are a big one that I've helped with um, lately this week. Um, and sometimes I can find that you just need some salt, like some simple table salt or Himalayan salt if you have it, but if you even have simple table salt, just to rebalance can help you get rid of a headache. So we can ask like, we can ask your subconscious exactly what it needs. And that's the beauty of it. And that's what you're gonna see me do here in a second because we're gonna help Jan with some of her issues. Um, but uh, I found someone that just needed magnesium um, to clear up some headaches that they had that were associated with um, their monthly cycle and it was just simple and since they've been taking magnesium no more headaches um, so sometimes uh, I think people um, expect that when I work on them or do an energy healing session that it's for big things like depression anxiety maybe you have you know PTSD so I say that I always say that wrong <laughs> whatever you know what I mean um, or it's like some big thing you've been in a car accident but it can be really small. It can be a fight that you got in with a sibling and you're, it's really bothering you or you're having an issue um, with anything. So big or small, we take them all. Oh, I like that. Big or small, we take them all. Simple frustrations to, you know, clearing mental clarity to just making, um, you know, maybe you have like a big decision you need to make and this can help you just to have that calm feeling of I'm making the right decision. But my favorite one is when my clients tell me that they just feel happy. They just feel joy again because so many of us have lost that. Okay, here we go. So everybody's on. Um, Jan, are you still there? I'm still here. All right, everyone. This is Jan. She's super awesome. Um, the only hard part about working on Jan is just going to be that she's already a superhero. So she has the most uplifting, <laughs> positive attitude. Like I just absolutely love having her on our page because she just is amazing. Little firecracker Jan. That's what we're going to call you. Um, okay. So Jan, now I'm going to mostly just start talking to you. Um, so Jan and I have already established an energy connection. She's already given me permission to work on her. Um, and for those of you that are like, exactly how is this working? Um, great question. So if you've ever been around somebody that's been really angry and you feel it, that is your energy. And so um, we give off energy. In fact, they can actually see your energy, um, they can measure it. And it's really cool. They've had somebody actually think about love before and they've um, been able to test another person that's in the room. So if like, let's say if maybe, you know, you're in a room with your sister or something. I don't remember who the, the candidates were that they did this on, but 
one person feels love, genuine love for the other person, and they can actually see it in that other person's wavelength in their brain because we give off energy and we are energy. So um, some of us have, well, anybody can do this, but I will absolutely tell you that this is a gift that I was born with and that I didn't know how to use it until I found the body code and the emotion code. Um, but I can actually connect with Jan's energy and feel her energy as, um, as long as I intentionally try to do it. We are spiritual beings living in a little emotional or emotional, a little physical moment. Um, and so why we tend to focus on our physical bodies, it's really your spirits that are, um, you know, uh, the ultimate, like, uh, beginning and end. I mean, I honestly believe that, that you will continue into another life or whatever it is that you happen to believe. Um, but the cool thing here is that because I have intent to help Jan, I can actually connect with her over, um, I do my sessions always over video or phone call or Zoom. Um, and so I can just uh, connect with her and you'll see me moving my hands a lot because I'm actually using muscle testing. Now I'm not gonna actually be asking Jan questions because I am going to tune into Jan's genius. And Jan's genius is called her subconscious. And our subconscious is really miraculous and it remembers and knows everything. So that is why we use this process is because Jan's subconscious already knows exactly what Jan needs to fix herself. Our bodies are miraculous. I was having a discussion with someone yesterday and she was telling me about all the things that she was going through. And she said, you know, it's just hard because you go to the doctor right? Because you have a symptom and the doctor puts you on a medication to treat your symptom. And then your medication creates another symptom. So then you go back and you get a medication too. And we all know where this is going, right? And you end up in this cycle. And I actually knew a lady that was my next door neighbor. Um, when I was a child, I came back from the military and I remember seeing her and she was in a wheelchair and I did not even recognize her at all. And my mom told me who she was. And I was like, that's, there's no way that is her. Um, because she probably was in her maybe mid forties and she looked like she was at least 75 ish. And I thought this woman is not going to live for another 12 months because she just, she could, she could barely even function. And so, uh, I saw her later, um, like a year later and I asked my mom because she looked beautiful. I'm just radiant. And my mom said they had taken her off all of her medication and there actually wasn't anything going on with her. Um, whatever she had started on to take the medication was gone, but all the medication they kept putting her on was actually literally killing her. So Western medicine is a great thing. There are so many beautiful things that our technology can do, but sometimes we just get into this really big rush of just trying to fix symptoms and we don't get to the underlying issue. And that's where this is such a great thing because we can tap right into your subconscious and your subconscious is going to say, Hey, yeah, you have a headache. You need some salt. Um, or Hey, your legs are swollen. You need this specific herb or um, you have a pathogen in your body. Um, I had a pathogen once. Uh, I spent six months trying to find it and then actually went to someone that was doing a system just like this and using muscle testing and I was able to get rid of it in two days. But I had tried everything. Um, they thought it was a food allergy. I just had scopes done, but nobody could ever find it. So it's a beautiful thing to be able to, to um, tap into this. It truly is honestly a blessing. All right. So Jan, my dear, are you ready to get started? Uh, yeah. 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 Lisa says, what exercise app do you use? Um, open fit, open fit. It has the bar extend on it. It's super easy. Um, I love it cause she, um, does stretches and all sorts of stuff. Anyways, I love it. It's what I use. You, there's uh, all sorts of stuff you can use on it. Okay, Jan. So I, Jan, you were on here last week, right? Yes, I was. Okay. Glorious. Yes. So you saw what I was doing because I'm going to be asking your subconscious questions and I'm going to be doing what's called muscle testing. And I know that because of where my camera is, I don't dare tip it down anymore because I know you guys can't really see me. Well, I can try, but if you fall off, we'll put you back. Okay. Okay, let's see. Because you don't. There you go. Now you can see my hands a lot better. I'm telling you. 
I just need to get another cell phone so I can just go live. Uh, okay, you can pretty much see me now. Um, so we're going to muscle test to get answers from your subconscious. Now, for those of you that are like Hocus Pocus, Alama Jocus, Jan and Amy had this like super big conference before and Jan knows, told Amy everything. So I ask my clients specific questions because I just want to get a baseline. So I'm going to ask you, tell me your physical issues, tell me your internal issues. That's if like you already know that you have a kidney um, issue or you, yet yeah, you know you have a kidney um, or you, <laughs> you have a lung <laughs> issue or something like that. And then I ask you about any uh, emotional issues or a history of emotional issues. And that is how we get our baseline. Um, so Jan, I love you so much, but my word lady, you have had quite a history. So this is what happened when I started reading Jan's stuff. Um, I didn't want to be biased about what I was asking her or where the body code was going to lead me. And so I basically plucked out some of her main things. But Jan, just so you know, I did not read very deeply into the ages of anything that happened to you. Okay? Thank you. And that is mostly so that uh, I wouldn't um, have anything in my head as far as what we were going to ask you. You know, one of these days, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to remove all of my kids' toys and I'm going to, um, I'm going to organize myself. Ha <laughs> ha! Just kidding. It's not that bad. Okay. So let's get started on Jan. You guys are welcome to ask, ask questions as I work with her. I'll try to look over in my little chat box every once in a while and see what you are saying. And then Jan... Just like with any of my other clients, I'm going to write all of this down for you. So you guys are going to see me jotting stuff down because I send you an email when we're done so that you can review it and um, so you don't have to worry about writing it all down. Okay. Thank you. All right. So after reading a couple of things that she has going on, the first thing that we're going to start on is we're going to, um, we're going to focus on Jan's right shoulder issue. And then Jan, I also am feeling like we should potentially see if we can um, reduce, eliminate some of the issues that you have because everyone, Jan has actually had COVID. Um, and so she had mentioned that she had some fatigue and some additional numbness and things that she was going through from the side effects of that. Okay, Jan, sound like a party? I'm ready. Okay. Let's party. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do as well is because Jan's doing this with me, then she gets to have additional sessions. And so Jan, I'm going to actually ask your subconscious a couple of questions just so I can get a baseline. So as we continue working with you, then we can see where our progress is. Okay. So these are going to be percents that I'm asking your subconscious. So I don't expect you to answer. I'm just going to tell you what they're, they are. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. This is where the excitement happens. So before we start, I'm going to take just a moment to feel gratitude and blessings for being able to help you. And we're just going to pray to the higher source, whatever that is for you, to ask for assistance in making sure that we can help you the best that we can. So just a second. Okay. All right. So is your immune system functioning at, at least 50%? Is it at, at least 60? Is it at 55, 56? So Jan, right now it's telling me that your immune system is functioning at about 55%. And now I'm going to ask your subconscious um, how well we're just looking for like misalignments, like how well is your body aligned? How well are you, is your brain communicating with your organs, glands, all that stuff? So this is what I'm going to ask now. Is your brain communicating with the rest of your body at at least 50%? Yes. At at least 60? Yes. At at least 70? Um, at at least 65, 66, 67, 68. 68%. And the other one I'm going to ask you about is your heart wall. Um, if you guys haven't been on here before, heart wall is when you've been through a situation where you are 
pretty much traumatized or you're kind of in that survival mode, um, your body tries to protect your heart. And so our heart is where our emotions come from. That's why if you even read, um, if you're into scripture reading, there's lots of stuff in the Bible that talks about, you know, um, God saying things uh, in aligned with your heart. Um, transplant patients can have memories from the, their donors. So your heart is a miraculous organ. So we're just going to ask Jan's heart, how well is it communicating? Um, because when you go through traumatic events, your body puts up a heart wall to protect you. Um, and so we're going to see where Jan's uh, percent of her heart um, messages are getting to her body. So is it at, at least 50%? No. Is it at, at least 40? No. How about 30. Yes. Is it between 30 to 35? Yes. Is it 30? Exactly. Nope. 31. 31 percent. So Jen, we'll just follow that up by saying, do you have a heart wall? Yes, you do. Um, I'm also going to measure your heart wall because as we work on you, we can actually see your heart wall um, become less thick. Now I like to use inches, but you can actually use anything because your subconscious mind is a really cool thing. It, it doesn't really care for using inches or miles or centimeters or whatever. I just like to use inches because inches are usually easy for people to know what it was, but really we can measure it by fence posts if we wanted to. Um, but we're just going to measure by inches. So is your heart wall, I feel like it's about eight. So let's check. Is your heart wall eight inches? Yes. Is it greater than eight? Nope. Is it less than eight? Nope. So your heart wall is eight inches. Now, if you're already like, what is this crazy lady doing? I'm going to tell you something really super crazy. So I have a friend who I love dearly and she, you know, is like, okay, I'll let you do a session on me. And I'm like, super great. Thanks for volunteering. Um, because I always find it's, it's, it's more difficult to work on people that you, that you know. Um, and uh, so you can actually ask your subconscious what your heart wall is made out of. Um, it can be a little bit difficult to determine because your heart wall is usually associated with something that means something to you significantly in your life. So sometimes it's a guessing game or sometimes it just pops into my head and I can see it. So Jan, we're just going to ask, is your heart wall stronger than wood? Yes. So your heart wall is made out of something stronger than wood, but then think of all of the materials that can be stronger than wood. And honestly, your subconscious doesn't even care. Hi, Re. Your subconscious doesn't even care if it's actually a real material. So I was working with my friend and I asked what her heart wall was and I kept seeing teacups. And I'm like, I don't even know what this means, but is, and I was, I'm like, I'm seeing ceramic, like porcelain type teacups. And she's like, no, I don't have anything. I don't have anything in my life related to teacups. And I was like, okay, well, you know, moving right along because it can be a little hard to figure out. Anyway, she sent me a picture um, right before we started of teacups and their teacups in her window. And I was like, I told you, those are the teacups that I saw. And so um, it really is, it really is, uh, I'm just gonna say it. You can't make this stuff up. Um, it's a beautiful thing. All right, Jan, so we're going to focus on you. Let's see if we can find an imbalance related. And Jan, your subconscious knows exactly what we're talking about. Um, and I'm just going to call it your right shoulder issue, okay? Okay. And that's where it is, right shoulder. Yes. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to help you. I love you. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Ray, I like that. Me too. <laughs> okay. All right. Ew. Do you have an imbalance associated with your right shoulder? Yes. Is it something that we can work on tonight? Yes. Is it in the left column? It's in the right. Is it a pathogen? A misalignment nutrition. So it's actually telling me that it's a pathogen. Now, before you freak out. <laughs> I don't freak out. Oh, I know you don't. Um, <laughs> So 87%-ish of Americans have pathogens. You can get a pathogen from lots of stuff. Um, usually uh, something like you can eat uh, food and it can have a pathogen on it. Um, you can get a pathogen from an animal. So 
your body is pulling that you have a pathogen. So this is either going to be an actual physical pathogen or just an energy of a pathogen. So let's see if it's physical or an energy. Is this in the left? Yes, the physical pathogen. Now we can actually pinpoint what pathogen it is. So I know you guys can't see, but I actually have a little chart that I'm using that has everything listed in it. And that's why I'm asking if it's right or left and I'm muscle testing. So um, sometimes when I'm working with people, I can just see the answer. And I mean, like, I don't know how to explain that, but 